I just did a recording with my iPhone about the seven minutes of video blog here. Awesome piece of content what I did as something happened. There sometimes it's bug in the camera application of an iPhone because if you hold the camera in a landscape orientation it should record the video in landscape. The aspect ratio of the video was correct but for some reason it was recorded in portrait uh, orientation anyways. So it's not that straightforward process for flipping a video 90 degrees as it is with uh, simple photos. So oh, I just wasted a little bit, you know, a 10 minutes of, of time, but let's give it another shot. This is take two of the same video. So what I was about to tell you guys, I'm writing here on a draft. This is a second draft of the upcoming book about software testing, 70 ideas about testing that in good care bear some fruit in the near future. So here are ideas, you need to plant those seeds and then take care of those and maybe one day they will bear fruit that amazes even you. Hey, but anyways, uh, this is going to be a cool book. Um, I just read uh, Stephen King's book on writing, uh, on his profession, and he said that the second draft always should be the first draft minus 10%. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm writing some uh, uh, notions here and taking out 10% of the useless and uh, pointless content. This is text number 38 that I'm currently processing on. Uh, and this is an awesome text. I've written it about six years ago <laughs> Since uh, this book is going to contain the 70 most popular uh, Articles in the blog that we've been writing for the last 10 years about software testing uh, It's been in Finnish. So these are translated texts and I've refreshed them myself and uh, now it is the editing phase so we are going to probably be ready to publish uh, during the winter time this year. It's going to be available uh, available in Amazon. Uh, but the text number 38 is awesome. I can't believe that we came up with such cool ideas back then. The point here is that there are three ways why Working software testing process, a routine, a format for doing testing in a tight feedback loop produces more results out of software development work, so coding work. And here are the three reasons. The number one, it is faster and easier to fix bugs in a tight feedback loop than in an environment when the bug is found months later than when it ended up in the code. Nobody remembers what they did two weeks ago or two months ago. Nobody remembers that. Not even the greatest software developer. And if the bug is found after two months, it takes a lot of time to investigate and to find the root causes and then to fix them. If the bug is found now or tomorrow, it will be easier and faster to fix it immediately. Okay, so fix it, finding and fixing the root causes for, of bugs is faster. It makes the development process faster. The second thing here is that there will be less regression. When we find the bugs fast and go into the fixing, into the coding and fixing those bugs now, there is less risk of breaking something else because it is still fresh in our mind what we did and what were the dependencies. So, long time after decoding, the bug is found, I don't remember what are the dependencies and I'm more prone to break something somewhere else. So the regression happens. The light bothers me, for some reason makes the lighting strange. Uh, let's try it out. This is going to be in Finnish. So, Prepare yourself. Let's see if Siri can work. Hey Siri, laita olohuoneen valo pois. She's heard that I speak English and now I changed languages. So let's see if she can deal with it. <laughs> um, 
So that was the doorbell and uh, it turns out Siri couldn't make it because I'm doing something else with my phone and Siri needs the phone connection and for some reason it's not working. So there is a bug in Siri as well. We have found two new bugs in the iOS 11. I just updated it yesterday and that's that's awesome in general, but there still are lots of bugs. Yeah, number one, finding and fixing bugs is faster. It makes the development process faster. More results in the given time. Fixing is less risky, less regression. Development and coding is faster, more results in given time. And the third, to me, this is the most important part. Tight feedback loop is this. It promotes learning. Learning is the key of doing work more effectively in the future. So I always promote effectiveness over efficiency. Can you hear the difference? Effectiveness means the impact, the impact that our work has on the development and the co-workers, effectiveness. Effectiveness means the impact. Efficiency, on the other hand, means the throughput of a factory. And I'm not promoting that. I promote more clever ways of working and utilizing tools and automation and everything else like that. So, a fast feedback loop promotes learning, hence it promotes an effective, more effective way of producing the results. And coding and development grows faster, more results in given time. These are awesome ideas here. It's going to be a great book, I think. Uh, well, that's my opinion. I'm here patting myself on the back. <laughs> but anyways, it's, it's going to be awesome. Uh, if you like this idea or would like to share yours, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me. I would appreciate if you shared some of these videos or gave thumbs up every now and then. Um, take care, guys. I will be seeing you next week. Bye-bye.